y'all scared to be different? Uh, say I won't. Why y'all scared to be different? Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to this week's Transformation 365. This week, we're going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit is a major subject in understanding the fullness of the kingdom of God. With that said, what is the fruit of the Spirit? If you're like me, just like most believers, you went to conferences, revivals, convocations, all hearing the teaching and preaching of the, of the fruit of the Spirit, but never really understanding what the fruit of the Spirit quite is. Let's look at what the scripture says, shall we? Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 25. I say then, walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit and the Spirit against the flesh. And these things are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things which you wish, but, you are, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and of the like, of which I told you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That show was a mouthful. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Most people try to explain that scripture or explain the fruit of the Spirit. They skip right past verse 16, which just simply says, walk in the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, quite simply, is the characteristics manifested in the life of a believer, of a person who is led by the Spirit of God, submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I mean, let's just look at the lust of the flesh. You don't gotta pray about it. You ain't gotta fast 40 days or 40 nights to get them. When you submit it to the will of your flesh, they just manifest, just like that. Even in the lives of those who believe, for the most part, you submit yourself to the will of your flesh, the will of your flesh will manifest in your life on a daily basis. It's not hard. However, walking submitted to the Spirit of God will produce those characteristics listed in that passage called the fruit of the Spirit. Not the suppression of your flesh. You know, old girl walks past in those short shorts and you try your hardest not to look. Not behavior modification. You know what you do to try to look holier than thou in front of everybody else, but secretly you still struggling? Just true submission that yields true change. Romans, I think chapter 8 says it like this. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, those are the children of God. That term means mature children. We show our maturity by the manifestation of the leading of the Spirit in our lives. Think about it like this. Put an apple seed into the ground. You don't have to pray about that seed becoming a tree. You don't have to fast about that seed becoming a tree. You don't have to read books to that seed about becoming a tree. That seed will become a tree based off the environment that it has. The seed, the ground, the water, and the sun. You wanna produce this type of change and these types of manifestations and characteristics in your life, you have to consider the same thing, your heart the seed, where you go, your environments, who you let influence you, your nutrients, the sun, and the water. All of these things play a major part in the manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit in your life on a daily basis. So you want to manifest the fruit of the Spirit in your life? Submit yourself to the will of God on a daily basis. Begin to get in environments that cultivate that culture of a mindset that's submitted to God as Lord and Jesus as Lord in your life. Let yourself be watered with the word of God and teachings of the kingdom of God on a daily basis. Begin to do these things constantly on a daily basis and you'll begin to see the change take place on the inside of you. Not the self-righteous kind, not the behavior modification kind, but the kind that takes place internally and that manifests itself outwardly for the world to see and partake in. Well, I hope this video has been a blessing to you. God bless you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. This has been the Transformation 365. God bless. Say I won't. Why y'all scared to be different? Uh, say I won't. Why y'all scared to be different?